quick at about noon. <laughs> Just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. That intro has nothing to do with today's video. I just think it's funny. Welcome back to episode 22 of All the Mods 7. In today's video, we're stepping away from trains for a little while. And we're getting into industrial foregoing. I want to use industrial foregoing to make some of these materials, stonework factories, a bunch of them. Because we can use these things to make obsidian and also netherrack. We need boatloads of both to make the ATM star. One of the first things you need to get into industrial foregoing is plastic. And in order to make plastic, you need latex. So we're going to use these fluid extractors. Place them just like that so the fan is facing in to whatever it is you're trying to extract from. Now I'm putting these connected to power. You don't need to power this. It's an optional thing, but it triples the speed at which this will produce latex. And since we need a bunch of plastic, we're going to use power. And now I'm going to feed it acacia logs from down below here from the basement. So I'm using these factory block placers. I'm going to put three of them down just like so. Now if we head down into the basement, get an exporter. I already have a cable ran over from my refined storage system. So we can tie that with an exporter into the factory block placer and tell this it's going to take acacia logs and place them up top. I don't know if you heard that, but it just placed the log. We're going to do that for all three of these. Now you can tell that the acacia log is changing and these things are starting to fill up with latex. I need to wait for one of these to fill up to a thousand millibuckets so we can get a bucket of latex in order to make this a latex processing unit. All right, we got our first bucket of latex. You can just take a bucket, scoop it right out of the machine, and we can now go make the latex processing unit. Take the latex processing unit. We're going to pop it right there. This thing requires power. And what this does is it takes the latex that we're getting from these machines, turns it into tiny dry rubber. So we're going to pull the latex out using fluid pipes from here and send it over to the latex processing unit. Extract with a wrench. Boom. It's already sending it up there. And I think we need to add one more thing to this latex processor. If I'm correct, we need to feed it water as well. So let's get an infinite source of water going. Because we're going to use that later on as well for these stoneworks factories. For our infinite water source, we're going to use Create. I already have this contraption set up and it's running. We're going to steal power from it to power a new pump. Run pipes down into the ocean. I need to flip this guy. But before I do, I'm putting a dimensional tank right here. Turn that on and then get rid of some of these pipes down here. That is going to fill up our dimensional tank with water. That's going to be our infinite source that we can use wherever we want. Now we just need to take our infinite water source and feed it into the latex processing unit. We're gonna do it just like that with a fluid pipe, extract from the dimensional tank. That's giving it water, it's full of latex, and it's making tiny dry rubber. What do you do with that? Nine of these tiny dry rubber pieces will turn into one piece of dry rubber, which needs further processing to turn it into plastic. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna take a crafter, we're gonna put it up here. We're gonna set a recipe in here Double click on that, take the dry rubber, put nine pieces right there, extract, hit apply. So this crafter will take the tiny dry rubber and when it gets nine pieces, it'll turn it into a dry rubber and it'll go right here. Take an item pipe, 
pull from the latex processing unit into the crafter. We're already making dry rubber. Now we need to smelt that. So I'm going to use an ultimate smelting factory for mechanism. We're going to come up. We're going to put this guy right here. And then we're going to extract from this to that. That is going to make us plastic. It needs upgrades. But we get plastic. We're going to take the plastic and we're going to feed it right out of this into here. Telling this thing items output up top. Clear everything. Items output up top. Hit that on. Boom. Plastic goes in there. Then we can connect this drawer to the refined storage system. Now I have access to the plastic that we're making here. These all need upgrades, but this will crank out and it'll get us plenty of plastic. And not because I changed the input like a dodo. There you go. <laughs> now she's running. She's chooching is what I should have said. And I think we're going to wrap this video up and leave it at how to make plastic for industrial foregoing. Let me clarify one thing. These acacia logs get used up in the process of these fluid extractors extracting the latex from them. So that's why I use the block placers below here. So when this block breaks, a new acacia log will get placed in its place. And this thing will run forever making plastic. Folks, thank you so much for checking out the video. Have fun and peace.